three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. 25 years ago today, the nation watched as the Space Shuttle Challenger lifted off. 73 seconds into the flight, it exploded before our eyes. Bitter cold combined with a faulty rocket booster seal were to blame. All seven astronauts died, including Krista McAuliffe, who was going to be the first teacher in space. Well, McAuliffe and the other Challenger astronauts' legacy lives on. John Batten takes us to the Sunflower State's own space center to look at the past, present, and future of American space exploration. We were an impatient nation 25 years ago. People were anxious to see the first true civilian travel in space. Teacher Krista McAuliffe had been selected to be part of the crew, conducting experiments and teaching lessons to her class from space. Lift off of the 25th Space Shuttle mission. And there had been two dozen shuttle missions previously, and space travel seemed routine. Challenger, go and throttle up. We got complacent. 73 seconds after liftoff, our complacency was shattered. The disaster was witnessed by one of the biggest audiences since we beat the Russians to the moon. Uh, the race with the Russians made it more interesting. We wanted to win. Our original Sputnik moment came when the Russians put the first satellite in space. But after we won the race to the moon and the Cold War faded, so did some of our enthusiasm. And there has been definitely a loss of will when it comes to space exploration. It doesn't hold the appeal, the interest it once did. At the Kansas Cosmosphere, their summer space camp is still popular. Obviously, we have some concern about that because right now our camp programs are based on the space shuttle. Although the shuttle program was restarted nearly three years after the disaster, it's now slated to close for good later this year. Uh, right now, we don't know what the future of space exploration looks like. At the Cosmosphere, they're hoping for a new Sputnik moment, and they say they'll be ready to help inspire the next generation of explorers when it comes. John Batten, NBC Action News.